This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website platform. Whether you're a business owner, artist, content creator, or just looking to build a great portfolio, Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful website to display your work, connect with your audience, and sell your products all in one place. Hey, welcome to episode 3 of this TikTok Pinterest tutorial thing. Yes, I know. Oh, why are you looking for TikTok tutorials on Pinterest? I don't use TikTok that much, okay? I just use it to watch Song Ming of 80s respectfully quick lazy shading tutorial i'm lazy i love something quick checks all of my boxes create a new layer set it to multiply the artist is using clip studio paint but i'm sure we can do it in ibis paint so here i have a drawing of a unhinged al them. all that stress from his job is finally catching up to him in the tiktok video it seems that the artist already applied some blush and cell shading to their drawing so let's do that real quick Okay, done. Now we create a multiply layer on top and cover the whole drawing with dark color. Depending on the light source, erase where the light hits. Okay, let's start erasing. By the way, I get a reference when you do this if you want to be more accurate about the lighting and the shadow placement. Filter, blur, motion blur. Thankfully, IBS Paint also has some blur effects, but it's called moving blur instead of motion blur. Let's adjust the strength and direction. Clean the shadows if needed. I don't think mine need some cleaning. So let's skip that. New layer set to overlay. Use an airbrush with a light color for the glow. That looks like fun. I normally pick red or orange for the glow effect. Damn, it looks so pretty. You see the glow it creates on the rim of the shadows? You gotta try this. The colors look amazing. I wonder how it would look like with different colors. This is quite versatile. You can choose any color you like. Usually warm colors look great for lighting. You know, like red, orange, yellow. But cool colors also look amazing for lighting. Thank you so much, Relsi, for the cool tutorial. It's so easy to follow and the result is amazing. Everybody go check out their account. By now, you guys probably know that I'm a lazy piece of ass. I, I, I cannot make this smooth. I tried, but I'm sorry, I'm just not that smooth. Unlike Squarespace. Creating a website used to be such a hassle. You need to learn HTML and that's a about all I know about making websites. But with Squarespace, all you have to do is pick a template you like, and no, these are not some boring templates where they kinda look the same. No, all the templates are unique and very aesthetic. You can also browse based on the types and topics, and even make your own templates. But seriously, their pre-made ones are great enough in my opinion. If you're someone who's um, tech-savvy, or a tech savant, or a digital guru, if you will. You can customize your website using their CSS editor. I'm not gonna pretend I have any idea what these are, but yeah, you can do that. Or you can just easily drag and drop and make your edits with their Fluid Engine technology, which is great for someone who gets migraine easily looking at those coding stuff. And you can also have fun with the design, like adding particles and customizing the colors. Super simple, super easy and you can get very creative. And yes, you guessed it. Head over to squarespace.com slash fungsao or use the code fungsao to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Squarespace.com slash fungsao, 10% off. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. My most requested fit is how I color like this, so I can see why. Isn't this the character from Death Note? What's his name again? Oh, Mellow. Mellow Marshmallow. That's L. Tutorial speed run time. Sketch. Oh my. I didn't know you could sketch like that. Let me try. There we go. Oh, it works perfectly. You guys should try it. I start with either one. A gradient map, which maps hue onto value. In case you're an art infant who's still learning all this fancy art lingo, Auntie Fong is here to help. This is the gradient map in Clip Studio Paint. In Procreate, it's located here. In Ibis Paint, it's located under Filter. But sadly, you have to pay. Use your red pocket money or something. Hue is pure pigment. Colors without added black, white, or gray. Meanwhile, value is the degree of dark and light. Easy, right? Speaking of value, if you want to get better at rendering, I suggest doing value studies or painting in black and white like I'm doing here. And look at that, I'm not drawing Al Hatem for once. This is Albedo. Guess I have a thing for smart guys with sassy smiles. Basically, turn your lightest value into any color, your darkest value into another. I'm using Procreate for gradient map and personally i prefer using pre-made gradient maps so there will be other colors in between the darkest and lightest value but you can also make your own gradient or two 
a gradient set to overlay or color burn. For those of you who only have the free version of IBIS Paint like yours truly, this method works as well. But you might need to tweak the colors to match your preferences. This lets me brush in more of either color. Both of these mimic what I do with an analog painting, which is start with a wash. I don't know what analog painting is. Hey, Auntie Fang is not perfect. But since the artist is talking about wash, it probably means the wash method in paintings. Basically, you cover the entire painting with a layer of color for example like this afterwards you can add more colors in different layers thank you so much singo stingo for the amazing tutorial about grayscale to color be sure to check out their account they have amazing artworks this one is an ibis paint animation tutorial that looks cute and unsettling at the same time okay erase erase the eyes use liquify pen and on the rest of the body whoa wait what that's it hold on i might need a minute to process this a few moments later okay i spent some time doesn't take too long at all trust me so basically you're not using the animation canvas you can use the regular one and then you duplicate your drawing and then on the layer below erase everything but the face go back to the top layer and then erase the eyes now using liquify we will force the eyes to close this is very unsettling i should apologize to cafe sorry cafe the artist also liquefied the whole body so i will do that as well okay so there's this adjustment thing on the liquify menu just drag it from left to right oh my god this looks so weird i mean it looks cool but also kind of unsettling okay look there's nothing wrong with the tutorial my execution is just crap well that was fun thank you um ram ram 55 wait i've watched their tiktok before yeah in my previous video i tried one of their tutorials this one guys be sure to check out their tutorials they have a lot of fun i spent tutorials I'm not sure where this tutorial came from because i can't seem to find it on tiktok but i was intrigued because look at this See, they're drawing like, what are those? Leeches? On the character's eyes? Oh, that is a long leech. But then, wait for it, it turns into tears. What kind of magic is that? Okay, we have to try it out ourselves. This is my drawing of Hazo. This is an old drawing, by the way, so the art style is a bit different from my current one. Let's draw some leeches and a little bit over here. It's kind of unsettling because Hazo is smiling rather confidently in my drawing, but now I'm drawing him crying ink and an open filter and choose water drop around it it turns into tears it became tears instantly he's crying you can adjust the lighting too maybe it's because i colored his eyeballs with reddish gray but it kind of looks like he has pink eye it kind of bothers me let's try another one with mr risley focus on his eyes not his bazongas mr risley is up here ladies and gentlemen draw more leeches let's draw a long one this time go to filter and then water drop wow it looks much better on this drawing honestly i mean if you zoom in too much it kind of looks unnatural but it doesn't look that bad i'm never drawing tears ever again as i mentioned i cannot find this tutorial on tiktok so i have no idea who the artist is so please let me know in the comments if you know who made this amazing tutorial now i can make all of my character drawings cry instead of resting b face all the time effects i use on my art to make it look better my dude it already looks amazing on a new layer fill the screen with a super saturated blue okay i'll use this blue oh god my eyes set the blending layer to overlay and set it between 10 to 20 percent all right that looks much better do the same with a bright red slash pink i like hot pink oh my god my eyes reduce the opacity and then turn it to overlay wait i forgot to turn the blue layer to overlay add a layer of white and use the noise filter is it just me or my noise filter is not working like see there is no noise it's smooth maybe i should use light gray instead of white still nothing uh let's just move on set the blending layer to soft white maybe they meant soft light and turn the opacity down to 20 to 40 percent the result is too purple for me but that's because my drawing is already purple to begin with so let me adjust the red and blue real quick oh my god i'm such an idiot yeah my noise filter doesn't work because it was at zero percent opacity yeah that thing on top should have dragged it to the right for the first time i think it would look even more beautiful if your drawing had 
backgrounds like the original artist here but you know me and my laziness thank you to breadtech.mp3 unfortunately i can't seem to find their account on tiktok so please let me know if you happen to find their account maybe they changed their account name or something yeah anyways thank you so much for the tutorial and that's about it bye